Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm, can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Okay, so... I'm gonna correct myself from earlier by saying that we finished 1-3, not 2-1. We're moving on to 2-1. So, uh, my mistake, but... <laughs> Whatever. Don't even know what's chapter 2, or... <laughs> yeah, but we are starting chapter 2 now. Level 1. Uh... God, do we have to do a full heal here, I think? Yeah. That damn uh, fish from a last video. Anonymous letter. An El Gigante. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a letter from Luis Serra. Yeah, Luis. El Gigante. Yeah, I know what that is. Alright, so before we. Let's turn my sound down a bit. Before we go ahead and uh, carry on, because we've got to go through that door, we're going to go back. See those blue torches? That means. What do you think it means? Not much. Yeah, you can throw those. Why bother, really? <laughs> It'd be funny if you could hit the Martian with it. Yeah, he's in this little cave bit. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Just get in. That was weird. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the PS3 version, but I've had this the last couple of times playthroughs of with the PS3 version, it tends to lag in the water areas. So yeah, we got a merchant over here. He doesn't mind us just taking his shit. Yeah, this is chapter two. Of course we did we just did chapter one. Yeah, so, mm, chapter t I can't say anything's easy really, because if I do, it won't be easy. And in here, is the green gem, so I think that's the first green gem, yeah. You need two more, and that'll fill the elegant mask, so, we will have a, uh, Well, you know, you have to put like three gems in it and then it'll sell for a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, you can go down there. <laughs> Got some rifle ammo, you can just talk to him from here. Got some rare. He just does what not care. Selling? He doesn't mind. We got the gold pangle, ah, pearls, bangle, <laughs> P. Thank you. Pangle. <laughs> and teak pipe. Good lord. Ah, I'll buy, buy it at a high price. price. <laughs> Thank you. you got a what are good you bit amount of money now. What are you what buying? You know, eh, no, nothing. Again, this isn't the final handgun I'll have, so there's not really any point of uh, upgrading it. So 
waste of money. And I think we're done in this area. This up around here we missed. No, nope, we're done. Yeah, we're just selling stuff. Besides that, he's kind of useless at the moment. And you can go back the other way. Like, I used to go back for the gold bangle pearls, like to the old area. But you'll find dogs there, so there's no point. Yeah, there's dogs. Of course, there's always dogs. It's Resident Evil. Yeah, they never got rid of that in the newer games, at least. Yeah, I don't think we missed anything. I think we'll just go through the door. Okay, uh... This is where flash grenades are going to come in real useful. Trust me. Good lord. Yeah, plagas. Plaga heads, whatever you want to call them. Good lord. Okay, I want to try and get him first. Okay, no, he doesn't have a plaga, so that was a waste of ammo. Okay, with these things on the head, you just throw a flash grenade in there dead straight away. That's what flash grenades are useful for. I was trying to kill that other guy before the Plaga. So I could see if he had a one of them. So then I could throw a flash grenade and get two of them. Yeah, they take a lot of ammo if you haven't got a flash grenade, so... A rifle? No, we got everything reloaded. <laughs> hey! Yeah, there's a guy up there. Stupid idiot. Yeah, well he's just gonna stand there, so boom your head, sir, or dumbass, whatever you want to call yourself, just for now, I haven't seen that before, you find something new every day, in this game anyway, <laughs> okay, We've got quite a bit of hanging on it now, I didn't realise. Okay, let's get across here, shoot the boxes down. One there too. We don't miss. Good lord. I don't really want to waste ammo, but it doesn't matter. I think there's another spinel here somewhere. I don't see it though. Oh well. There is a treasure around here. I mean, it's so obvious. Someone, if you're playing it for the first time, you'll know how to find this treasure. Yeah, I didn't mean to skip that. It wasn't, it was just like the war leaving the front bit there. Oh, this bit, this is pretty funny. Da uh, da! See ya! Dummies. Yeah, they're real stupid. Oh, what a jump. Fail. 
Now, professional mode. I don't think that really works. You've got to like kill them with all your bullets, they won't fall. The only negative to doing that is yeah, you save ammo, but you don't get their. what the, the things that they drop. So they're falling in the water. So that's kind of annoying, but it is funny. <laughs> Last time I played it, one of the dumbasses just jumped in the water. I didn't even have to do anything. Really funny. <laughs> okay, there's the amber ring, I think it is. That's right. Yeah. To be honest, just being honest, you're kind of stupid if you miss that. Because it's right above your head, basically. Ah, and here we go. The ground and signal. And signal. Signal. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. I've obtained an object that resembles occult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate yeah, priority. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh... Where are we? Where are we next? Oh, yeah, okay, I know where we are. Oh. So we're heading back to that merchant from earlier. From chapter one three. Yep, you know he's there when you see the blue torch. That's supposed to signify that he's open, even though he's open all the time. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Got a selection. Yeah, you ain't got selling. shit. Thank you ah. for wasting my time. <laughs> Thank Take you. That. Is that Take all? That. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? I'm not buying anything from what you. What are you buying? Yeah, if you go back to the same merchant, if. <laughs> He doesn't have anything anyway. We missed that last time, that hanging ammo, I think. Don't know how I missed that, but we've got plenty of hanging ammo. Thinking about it here, I'm gonna want the TMP. You're probably wondering why I haven't been using it. Well, you're about to find out why. Okay, we can't fit the herb. Well, how about I just do this then? Oh boy. Uh, God. Ain't good. Come on, you son of a bitch. Okay, and when he's down like that, just hit him with this. A 
is that dog? <laughs> hey, it's that dog. It's that one we freed with the bear trap. If you don't save it, then this bit obviously doesn't happen, I don't think. I don't know why, for some reason, he's He's not taking it, I don't want more bullets. Weird. He doesn't usually take these many bullets. Yeah, he hasn't even got us yet. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get him um, one more time. Are you serious? This, uh, I love how the game likes to be a douchebag like whenever I'm, of course, recording, but usually I don't get hit once here. He's not dead. No, he is. Good lord. Yeah, the first time's hard. But uh, like when you meet him again, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not as hard, I don't, I don't think. And yeah, we get quite a bit of money from him at least, but look at our TMP ammo. That's why I saved it. <laughs> Just wait till later on, wait till our TMP's more powerful. He's not going to stand a chance. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, wait we'll till later on. Huh. Yeah, the first time is hard, but Yeah, it's not last time you'll see them. One of them anyway. Okay, and we're done with this area. Gonna want the shotgun out here. And because I'm doing a video, I'll fail here, of course. You watch. No snake this time. Oh, they don't see us. Get the rifle out. Take the advantage. And of course I failed. Big surprise. Yeah, not so funny now when I get a grenade, is it? Idiots. Yeah, they're not to be messed around with, if I'm honest. Just put that in and yay, we can get in the church. Good lord. Clearly by now you would have figured out that it is. Okay, there's the ladder. For the other side though, and there's some stuff. Flash grenade. Yeah, it actually isn't a really a long chapter. The next one's a bit longer. Oh, I hate this. I 
Oh, I'm professional mode. I don't know if it's professional mode or what, but last time I just kept going to the floor. Really annoying. Or maybe I was just an idiot. Hey. Oh yeah, one of these puzzles. Funny thing about Resident Evil 4 is that the puzzles really are not difficult, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think that one goes there. And the green one. Like that, I think. Then combine. Oh crap, I did it wrong. What the hell? I think it's the blue. No, I've gotten. Which one did I get wrong? The green one, I think. There we go. And we're done. Yeah, there's no really trouble with the puzzles at all, to be honest, in this game. Ashley! Don't come! Hey, take it easy. down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah. Here's how you command Ashley to do stuff. You either wait or follow. It's, uh... I don't know what to do. But it's very annoying. But not like Sheva from the fifth one. Because Ashley doesn't need... Weapons or any of this crap. You play Resident Evil 5 with the AI, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, we have Ashley with us now. I don't like it at all. Because, uh, you know, it's just a pain in the ass, to be honest. Much better when you're by yourself. Uh, yeah, about the ch whole chopper thing. You can probably guess that we don't end up leaving. <laughs> Pretty obvious. And, you know. <laughs> it's good that we didn't get a ch We're not going to get a chop. Well, you'll see later on what I'm talking about. Do do do. Oh, yeah, she can't go down ladders. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, if you aim the gun up and the laser, that happens. Or you can go up the ladder and she'll say that as well. It's really funny depending on how you try to do it. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon. They shot something in my neck. 
What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith in money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Good lord. You okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Uh. And that is the end of chapter 2-1.